Chuck, gotta get this off my chest. Like, now. Now, now, now. When people say they want to go into space, I want to go what do they space. typically mean by that? They what? mean I'm going to be an astronaut. I'm going to be. I'm going into space, man. I'm going okay. up there. I'm up going there. up there. Up there, and generally they mean they want to go into orbit. Excuse me. Uh, the uh, the f did you just say? All right. Most no, anyone who has ever been in space, mean. they don't mean that. They want to go to space, man. Well, well, okay. If that's the case, uh, do you know how many? People have left low Earth orbit. Well, first of all, you are going to have to define low Earth orbit for me. Okay, sorry. Okay. <laughs> because right, I'll say I'll say it another way. All right, the Apollo <laughs> astronauts. Okay. Okay. That left Earth. Right. To go to the moon. All right. Okay. And that's right. that's space. Okay. Wait a minute. So those are the only people who have ever left Earth for a destination. Every other astronaut, hundreds of them, uh -huh. are called astronauts, and we still say they went into space. And what that means is they went into low Earth orbit. Oh, that's just awful. Uh, and so low Earth orbit is, in practice, you know, where the space station is, it's about a couple hundred miles up. So, so if so, <laughs> the Damn. distance from Earth's surface to the space station is less than the distance from New York City to Washington D.C. Oh, oh, God! Why are you depressing me like I'm, this? I'm just trying. I'm just trying oh to be God. honest about this. This is awful. <clears throat> okay, so when people say to me, "You want to go into space?" And, and, and because somebody's got some orbital tourist thing, and I'm thinking, to me, space is the large-scale structure of the universe. Thank you. Not boldly going where hundreds have gone before, driving around the block, as low Earth orbit indicates. Okay? So, yeah, you can drive to Earth orbit in, you know, three or four hours. Oh. All right? If, if the road were pointing straight up. So, so, <laughs> right. so NASA and others, I'm not implicating NASA uniquely in this, when they say, we are going into space, that's what they mean, okay? Now, there's a functional definition of space. Damn, so SpaceX should be- No, it gets worse. They should be called Leo X. <laughs> oh, low Earth orbit X. Uh, yeah, 100 kilometers up, or about 62 miles. Damn. Okay? All right, so if, you, if you do the conversion. So yes. if you get to that altitude, whether or not you're in orbit, you go above the blue sky. All right, the daytime blue sky. Right. Then that sky gets darker and darker, and there it is. It's black. The blackness it is black. of space. It is. So you can have Earth behind you, the blackness of space over to one side, and the brilliant sun off to the other side. Welcome to space, baby. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that, except that definition depends on Earth's atmosphere, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Suppose Earth's atmosphere were half as thick okay. as it is. All right. Now you're going th 31 and 30. Now miles. you're going 50 kilometers, 31 miles up. Oh, no. <clears throat> okay. Oh, that's terrible. Now suppose it was one fourth as thick. <clears throat> now you're going 25 kilometers and 15 miles up. All right. Now suppose it was one tenth this thickness, then it's ten miles up. And suppose we didn't have an atmosphere at all. <gasps> so then are you still in space just by standing here on Earth? Because under those situ uh, in, in that circumstance, you would look up and you would no longer have a blue sky. No God! No God, please no! 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 Someone at NASA told Neil. We're not going to let you go head to head with Eric Dubay because he'll make you look foolish. Prove me wrong. <laughs>